it's just, see that whole Celtic man argument is so fucking stupid. It's embarrassing. It's, it is embarrassing, but I'd, I don't know how many people actually buy into it, but put it this way, right? There's a lot of people, a lot of guys that are uh, against Tyler, as you say, Louis, and I, I totally take on board what you're saying. These are the same guys that if you said Mick McCarthy's going to come in and take over, they'd be fucking delighted. Yeah. They'd be really excited about it. Now, one of the reasons why we were so positive about Dyla from the offset was he talks he talks a, a good game and he was saying he was going to implement a certain style of football. That's really what I want to see. Now, of course, we need to win as well. But that would come, that would come obviously, by implementing that style. A lot of guys basically just want to see Celtic win. They don't really give a fuck what they're watching. We're not like that. Well, I don't, I'm assuming you're the same, France. You'd like to see us play some cracking football as well as win because they shouldn't be mutually exclusive. You should be able to do both of them quite easily, especially in Scotland. That's why I'm positive about Dyla. That's what I want in a manager. I don't want somebody who's played for the club or says that they supported them as a youth or whatever. Yeah, I, I completely agree. What excited um, myself, and I'm sure you, you guys will be the same, is that it was something different. I yes. mean, we went from we went from Martin O'Neill, who I, I'm not going to in any way criticise Martin O'Neill, he was terrific. But Martin O'Neill was a Celtic man, um, and he played a very specific type of football. Then we had Gordon Strachan, who wasn't a Celtic man, and there was he got flack with that. You know, he got a lot of flack with the fact he wasn't a Celtic man. Oh, yeah, no, he did actually. A lot of guys didn't like him because he was a wee dick when he played for Aberdeen. He was a wee ginger and yeah. Just because he was whatever. good. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It was. And that, that's the thing, though. Um, people tend to like Gordon Strachan now. Because he's so positive about it. Because he, it's like, uh, people would say, oh, he is a Celtic man now. So uh, it's ironic that if Gordon Strachan, if something, let's say, worst came to the worst and Dyla was sacked and Gordon Strachan was linked, a lot of people would be more positive now with him coming Probably. in than when he first came in. Then we had, after that, we had Tony Mowbray, who was a Celtic man. That was a fucking disaster. Then we had Neil Lennon and, you know, we've all got opinions on Neil Lennon, but he did win us some trophies, terrific. He did get to the last 16 of the Champions League, again, good. But he didn't necessarily play what we would describe as exciting, entertaining football. So, you know, it's it, it, you know it, it's back and forth. So, there is, you know, people saying, I want a Celtic man in charge. It's worked. But it's also not worked. So, I mean, it worked with Martin O'Neill. <coughs> Well, not really. It's not a guarantee. My point is, it's not a guarantee. That's exactly what I'm trying to say. The point is, just because you get a Celtic man in charge, it could be another fucking Tony Mowbray. Does and how many how many Celtic men are in a position that you would want in charge? What I was going to say there, though, is there's enough Celtic or Celtic-minded men out there that people can legitimately call for them. Off the top of my head. Henrik Larsson. Henrik Larsson. Davy Moyes. Steve Clark. Um, David Moyes, is it? Are we talking good and ones? What, what I'm talking, well, I know I know Moyes is, is, is in Spain just now, but I'm talking about guys that have been out there and oh, okay, the yeah, sorry, the sorry, yeah. guys that have. Are we talking good ones? That's a good show. Oh, Roy Keane, Owen Coyle. Roy Keane, Owen Coyle. Okay. Uh, Do you know what I mean? You can. You, that, that's just between us. We've listed off half a dozen guys who managed at a fairly high level, and a lot of Celtic fans would bite your hand off to take. So that's why I think it's an easy thing to do because. There's, there's a lot of guys that have got what do affinity think, to us. What do you think we'd be if Roy Keane was in charge? Oh, fuck, f- I, I don't know. I, there's a, a, a the guy walked out in his Aston Villa job. Fucking, do you know? There's, there's a, I, I think a we mentioned it at the start of the season. And I was like, oh Christ, don't let Keane near us. See, just for a laugh. It's probably because I've had a few beers tonight. How much of a hilarious soap opera would that have been? Do you know? Just. Battering folk and all but, that. You know, but see all that, like, um, you know, fucking uh, press conferences when he gets a question he doesn't like and all that. Like, <laughs> he just... Uh, Roy, Roy Keane clearly seems to have some sort of mental health issue, and, and I don't say that flippantly. The guy's not Nuts. stable. He, no, well, that, that is flippantly. <laughs> <laughs> He's half his chump. There yeah. we go. Uh, that is me saying it flippantly. He's, the guy's not stable. I don't know if he's... He's half his tits. He's a he's fucking nut. I don't think he's... I was trying to have a yeah, sensitive we'll approach yeah. to mental health there because genuinely it is an issue. But 
Aye, Roy Keane. He shouldn't be managing. He should be out walking his dog like he did after he got popped for the island In circles. Squad. In circles, the guy, The guy... Punching people outside <laughs> the tails. He's a shite manager as well. He's, he's he did well at Sunderland for half an hour. There <laughs> <laughs> we go, good stuff. <laughs> um, other, other questions? Uh, let me just get them. Uh, Louis, this is for you. This oh. is from Mickey, at Mickey1888. He's been a big contributor this year. Thank you for your patronage. Thanks very Listen, much, Mickey. We should give a big shout-out to... I'm not speaking to the microphone. We should give a big shout-out to uh, our regular tweeters. Go. Uh, at, Mi- at Mickey1888 it's a big regular tweet Brian Murray tweets all the time thanks Brian Napoleon He's actually tweeted quite a lot he did Napoleon did um, Brian Murray also uh, wrote an article for the site which is which was really good loves a tweet that boy so he does Brian, Robert, good guy I like him I like Brian uh, Robert I like the cut of his jib I do Robert Sherry has uh, tweeted quite a few times Bob thanks, Robert Bobby. Das Butt John Bowd yes Das Butt of course uh, Ginty of course Ginty uh, Gents I, Ian as well, Jet Meister uh, General, uh, Comiskey ninety, Big Mick. Oh, aye, Mick loves that tweet. Go on, lads, go on, lads. Uh, uh, everyone else, you think anybody spot. else? Think any others? I feel bad if we leave somebody out now. Um, thanks to Celtic Ambassador for giving us that shite tweet. Um, <laughs> Seth Dobson was just Seth, Seth. good guy, aye, Seth. Seth Terrific aye, fella. Dobby, cheers. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Jack uh, Tyler um, at E underscore Jack Tyler. Terrific taste of music. Give him a follow. Terrific. Give him a follow. Give him a follow. Like, this, guy, this guy's there. Um, he knows his stuff. Uh, but, you know, if anyone else, you, you know who you are. Thanks for, for contributing um, and getting involved. Let me just get ask you a question. Um, this is from... Um, let's see. Here we go. No problemo. Um, this is from Mickey at Mickey1888. What's the podcast? But we're going to start with Louis. Predictions this transfer window. What do you expect us to actually do? And ins and outs. Mm. Not a lot. I'd never go into a January transfer window and think that Celtic are going to do much. I think the Celtic ambassador was quite right. How fucking negative are you? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty negative, eh? Uh, I I would be surprised if we had more than two signings. That would that would one's be, a permanent. Uh, that's the thing. I, I think I think he'll go down the permanent route. I think loans. He's done the loans. Personally, I think I think there might be a Scottish base player, and I think it will it would probably have to be Armstrong. So you think we're going to bring in how many? Two. I th- I think two in, and I think going out. <coughs> <coughs> he's already said that uh, <coughs> Berge will go. Does he go now? No. No, oh, I've got a bad cough. Does um, does he go now? Or is he, he's, go back, he's, he's going, going back, back in January. January. He's going back in he's January. He's going back. But I wouldn't um, necessarily call him a, lo- a, a loss because we, when was the last time he played? Oh, he's a number, isn't he? I, yeah. think, I, think, I think there should be more going out than coming in because I think there's a lot of deadwood that needs cut. I think there's a lot of deadwood. Just, I was thinking about this earlier and I, I meant to kind of interject at one point. Bo Richter, I mean... He's injured. Is he injured? That's why he's not been playing. He's been injured. Right. Because But even when he's not injured, he still wasn't playing. When he was fit, he wasn't playing. He's just he's just completely disappeared off the radar. And I mean, that first fifteen minutes against <laughs> Ross County. It was twenty. <laughs> it was fantastic. <laughs> right. I was there, it was right in front of me. Oh, what a guy. So you, you we're gonna lose Van Dyke, I think. No, nope, not in January, I don't. I think we will personally. And I, I think he'll stay till the summer. I think I, it depends. I think Kind of bid comes in for him. Exactly. I think I think it depends on the money. What would you take? A lot. Eleven point eight. Seriously? How much? Eleven point eight. In January. Based on. Um, Who wants him? Well, no. Based, like based, based on the fact that I think he's worth eleven point seven. Two, two, I'm prepared to cut them a two hundred grand deal. There you <laughs> go. All that great stuff. Thank you very much, uh, I, I think we'll lose Van Dyke. Um, when I say lose, how Van much? Dijk, Seven and a half. Seven point five. Look, do you think? Oh, no, oh, what? what? Right, hold on, hold on. Is this? Is Why this? What, is this? Why is this no, 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 what no. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Think we'll get right. I, I'm, I'm, I would l- fucking. I right. Of what, what, what do you value him at, and what do you think we'll get? What do I value him at? 
Fuck all, the guy's a fucking bomb scare. Right, he's as much all. a bomb scare what, what as the fucking what think, Ambrose. What do you think we'll what's get? Not. I that's fucking a, is. Bold. Nah, he's not. What do you think we'll get? What do I think we'll get? Realistically, every time we've had a player, and I said this a, week, a couple of weeks ago, we got £10 million for Foster, um, which actually, the £10 million for Foster is the one that genuinely makes me question we may actually maybe get the 10 But other than Wanyama, we've never really got value for what the players are. We get for Magidi. 10. 10. We get, nine, we get nine for Magidi. Right? Sure nine, eh? nine. nine for Magidi, ten for Forster, ten for Wanyama. Now, that, that's three. I you think Van, Van Dyke's impre- impressed like those players did? No, but that's a precedent. It's been set. It's been set. He's been in the How would you put them in order? Yeah? How would you put them in order of a, of of how good they were at the time? Wanyama was the best. Wanyama the best. Then Magidi for me. Oh, oh no 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 no. I, I would I would disagree. I think. Performance-wise, on the top level, Forster was the best of the lot. What he did in the Champions League? What Wanyama did in the Champions League? Not as good as what Forster did. Probably McGeady not. McGeady didn't perform in the Champions League like they did. And don't get me wrong, I like McGeady, but I don't think he did what they did. McGeady was there longer, though, so he maybe yeah, contributed more. That's what probably you, what you true. Could say. What about him coming back? I mean, it's perhaps not working out. I'd, I don't know if we could afford them. Did but I say that? Just just be I, I think. I think I would take him back in a fucking instant. And I think. So would I. I think. I think. I, him back now, so I don't know. think it's Everton isn't working out for him. I don't think. I think he's playing well in patches, but he's not playing every week, um, and that's to do with the squad rotation. By the way, you called Martinez out at the beginning of the season, and he fucking Everton. Thank you. Pretty fucking poor. See, uh, Naismith got a new contract. Deservedly, he's always been one of our best players this season. He should be £28 million for Lukaku. The hell did he get that from? I know. Martinez, that's the thing. People are starting to question him just now. And that's all. You've been questioning him since the start, so you have. Gee, you got. What did you call it at the start of the season, Matthews? I called Matthews, you called Fucking Martinez. yes. Fucking Look at this, this come podcast. on. <laughs> um, but, uh, sorry, we'll still stick with Celtic, obviously. Um, I, I would take fucking... Uh, McGady back in a fucking instant. I think he's fucking done. James Forrest. James Forrest. Okay, well, that's a terrific point that you make because James Forrest has, out of five, James Forrest has been out for 550 days in the last four years. <laughs> where did you get that stat? That's almost two years. No, but where did you get that stat? Ronnie Dyler scored in this. Did, did you make that up? No, Ronnie Dyler said it. No, Dyler said it in his press conference. 550 days in the last four years. Uh, he's not played. Four games in a row for the last two years, I think. We wrote him off at the start of the season, and when he's played, he's looked good. No, I know he has, but how can you take him seriously? It's as much the same as Lustig. I mean, when Lustig, you Lustig said longer periods. Well, you know what I mean. He said longer periods in the team, but you're going to go our strongest eleven's got Lustig in it. And but it's, yeah, it's probably got fucking it's Forrest in it these Forrest days. In it, but you can't really count on him. You can't really think that they're going to play a, a long term part this season because they'll just be fucking injured I'd again. still like to see uh, and I know they're both kind of left sided players but you could switch one of them I'd like to see Tony yeah. Evan Wicasso given a chance you love to switch players from wing to wing don't you <laughs> fucking hell well, Adam Matthews this is a question from uh, Tony Evan likes to cut in so you could put him so does right Wicasso Wicasso does as well we're well, never going to have a DDI guy again are we but I'm never going to have a winger that bombs it Insults <laughs> people and gets to the byline and gets a ball in the box. Insults them? Aye. I did a guy used to fucking humiliate people. French. He just run past them so fancy they didn't even Wait. have a how, how, how would did a guy have insulted people? I'm not 100% sure of that. Uh, you, see, you, you, you smell of uh, scotch pies. Uh, you are ugly. He insult them, wouldn't he? Uh, he, he has a question. He, he has a, them. Here's a question for everyone. Um, at Moo67. Um, does Michael Lustig become a better defender with every game he doesn't play for Celtic? That is a terrific question. It's incorrect, but still good for you for bringing it up. Chris? No, it's not true. Lustig is a terrific defender. Positionally, he's so far ahead of any other um, defender we've got. But as the point I just made a few seconds ago was, he can't be relied on because of his injuries. Uh, It's it's crying shame, but... That's the biggest problem we've got with him. He's is he our first choice right back? Yes, but we need another very good right back because for a large portion of the season he'll not be there. Look how bad that is as well. Like that's Borig to Forest Lustig 
Matthews, we've all talked about injury wise. Yeah. Don't play so much. Sorry for having you with that okay. ball cap. But that's not good. I I, I think um Borector was when we signed him, he was seen as a sick note. Right. Uh, always injured when he was at Ajax. Forrest is always injured. Lustig has unfortunately joined them in that he seems to be injured all the time, which is obviously very disappointing. 